Okay, uh, so welcome to today's lecture. So today we will talk about the for loop, which is the one type of the flow control. So basically, a for loop can iterate all the items of any sequence in a specific order that they appear in the sequence. So here the sequence can be a list or can be a string. So remember that a string is a sequence of those characters. And once we get each single item from any sequence, so we can perform some actions on those items. And the syntax of the for loop. So we all see that for each item in that sequence, and also similar as the, the if statement, don't forget the colon. And also after that, we need those indentation to indicate that, OK, so this is the part that within this for loop. And we can do something that with this current item. And uh, within this <coughs> for loop, so there are there are a lot of stuff that you can design. So for example, you can have another nested for loop. OK, and so that will make make it more complicated. Or you can run some other if statement, or you can do something else, like make some calculations. All right. So let's see one example in the editor. So let's go to our local repository and update our local repository. Uh, <coughs> oh, it, git pool. And let's add a new file. So this is our um, lecture six. And <clears throat> I will say six. So today we are talk about for loop and range function. Okay, so let's try our first for loop. So let's create a string demo string equals and this is my string and remember that um, string is a sequence of those characters so we have t h i s space i s space etc and let's use a for loop to print out those individual characters so let's say for <coughs> uh, string item in this demo string okay so that is for the item in this sequence so here we just defined a temporary variable that within this for loop so that refers to those each individual item in this sequence and hit enter and now you can see python automatically add the editor automatically add this indentation so that is nice so without indentation, you will have syntax error. And let's do something on this string. So let's say print <coughs> this string item. So string item. OK, uh, so you can think that what will be printed. So it will be each single character in this string. So let's run it. And you can see we have each individual character being printed out and include the space. <clears throat> OK, and you can also do something that will be more complicated within this for loop. All right, uh, so let's try something else. So for example, let's say uh, now we have the string. <clears throat> and if we use split function, OK, and we know that by default, uh, the split function will split the string based on the space so that we will have separate word. OK, so here we will have the separate word. So here, let's say for the word item in this. OK, so this one equals um, a list that contains each individual word. OK, so this one together equals a list that contains those individual word. 
So now if we print the word item in this, uh, the result of this split method, and we'll have each individual word. So let's run it. <clears throat> so now you can see we have this is my string. OK. OK, so that's a very uh, simple example of the for loop. So now let's look at the range function. So normally range function, we use range function together uh, with the for loop. So range function will generate arithmetic progressions, so a sequence of numbers. And the range function can take multiple input. So if you have just one number within the uh, parentheses of the range function, it will generate a progression from number 0 uh, until the number that is minus 1. So if you have range, let's see, range 5, <clears throat> So that will generate the number that is 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. OK? So it will not generate 5. So it always m minus 1. And if you provide two numbers, the first number will be the minimal number. The second number will be that the progression will end from m until, uh, from n until m minus 1. So for example, if you use <clears throat> range I see 1 to 5 okay so it will have 1 2 3 4 but it will not print 5 okay and if you are using three numbers the third number will are called step so that means it will generate a sequence of numbers from n to m minus 1 with an increment of the step. OK, so for example, if you have a range 1 to 5 with a step 2, OK, so the first number will be 1. The second number will be 1 plus 2, so that is 3. The third number will be 3 plus 2, <coughs> which is 5. However, 5 should not be printed out because it is uh, range from 5, so this will not be generated. So the real output will be 1 and 3. <clears throat> okay, so let's see the, the example in Python. Okay, so as I said, we normally use for loop together with the range function. So let's say for i in range 5 colon, let's print i so in this case, the i is a temporal, temporal variable that is used to refer each individual item that generated from this range function. Uh, so that is being used in, within this for loop. And the range function will generate <coughs> by default from 0 until 5 minus 1. OK, so that is 4. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And if we use two numbers, so that's 1 comma 5. So this number will be the starting number. So instead of using 0, it will start from 1 until 5 minus 1, so until 4. So now if we run it, and we can say 1, 2, 3, 4. OK? And if we set the step, <clears throat> so that means each time the number being generated will be increased by the step. So the first number will be 1. The second number will be 3. The last number um, should be 3 plus 2, but that is out of range, so that is not that will not be generated. Okay, uh, so that is a range function. 